Hello, this is Teacher Maria, and today at Art School of SFB, we are going to draw in a DC dancer and learn to draw proportional people in motion. A traditional Indian dance, a DC, is actually a story being told by the gestures and movements of a dancing person. It is based on religious texts and explains them. Traditionally, only girls were allowed to dance it, now men can do it too. Dancers wear colorful saris and lots of silver jewelry. In fact, they have little bells on the ankles, so when they dance and make movements, these bells ring. The hair is tied up and decorated with a moon-shaped crest and a Hindi temple spire. Dancers wear intense makeup so that their facial expression is seen from the distance. Their palms and soles are often painted red. I'm inviting you today to draw an DC dancer using reference pictures. Can be boy or girl. You can change the color of the clothes and adjust the posture a little bit. Tape your paper to the table or cardboard it's sitting on so it doesn't wiggle or crumple when you draw. Find the top, bottom, and the center of your figure's height. This is where the legs will start. Now I draw a central guideline for the legs and for the torso and position the knees that will be right in the middle of each leg. Also position where the feet will be. I'll break the top part in half and in half again. Quarter will be the head. One quarter up from the center of the body will be the waistline. For the shoulders, make sure they're wide enough. And arms, they're shorter than legs. Uh, elbow is about on the waistline level. So when you draw a hand, remember it's not like a circle with five fingers surrounding it but it's more like a square palm with four fingers on one side uh, that can help you carry some smaller objects and the fifth one, your thumb at the bottom helps you grab and carry something really big each finger is made of three palangas, three parts like one, two, three if you look from the back you will see that first phalanga is about half of the finger size second and smaller Third one is the smallest and the nail is about half of it. Thumb starts from the very bottom of the palm, also has one, two, three phalanges. Depending on the position of the hand, you can sometimes just see first phalanges or second and third ones. Or first and second. When you dance, when you wave your hands, you sometimes can see them from the side. You'll see just the profile of a palm. Also, fingers can be pointing towards you, they will seem shorter in that case. And I start dressing up my DC dancer in a colorful sari. And adding some flesh around my stick figure, turning it into a real human. I found a chalk that is more or less close in color to my skin tone. If you can't find one for yours, feel free to mix two colors. Put one color on top of another. I use the black watercolor pencil to outline and add some details. And also I am adding jewelry using my white chalk. You don't need to draw all facial features in detail, just make a hint on them. But remember, eyes are in the middle of the head. Don't put them on the very top of the head. Leave some room for the brain. I'm close to being done and I'm erasing all the dirt that is left on my paper. A regular eraser will do the job perfectly. And I'm adding some red paint on the nails, uh, palms, and soles of your feet. And the last and the very important step, spraying a fixative over my work. This will glue the chalks to paper so it, they will not smear. And this is my finished work. Let's start working on yours. Good luck!